Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube contents. I'm Sang Kim. Today I would like to help you understand how to calculate cross correlation for time series data in Excel and R. There are two reference sites I have used. The first reference site explains the definition of cross correlation. So the sample correlation cross correlation function is helpful for identifying legs of, of the x variable that might be useful predictors of yt. And the second reference site uh, shows how the formula for cross correlation. Right? This is the uh, formula to calculate cross correlation. I have prepared uh, simple fictitious data. There are two univariate uh, variables. And then in our program, if you use CCF function, uh, with uh, leg dot max equals three, then you can get these outputs. All right. Let me show you how to get this uh, cross correlation for leg one, leg two, leg three, and minus leg one, minus leg two, minus leg three. Okay. So, in this R uh, Excel uh, spreadsheet, we don't need to uh, calculate this part because uh, nu numerate part and denominate part. Uh, includes a minus one. So uh, we can exclude uh, this part. So we need to uh, focus on this red box formula. Okay, so let's get a uh, denominator uh, first. We can calculate denominator value uh, by using square root of the VSQ uh, of x variable and times the VSQ of y variable. All right. Then for uh, leg zero, it means that we don't consider any leg. Let's get a uh, numerate part. So this part. So I will sum, uh, summarize and sum all values uh, here. So in this uh, cell, we need to calculate each observation's data value. Okay, x minus average of x variable times y variable minus average of y variable. Okay, we can apply this formula for other cells. And let's get sum of right, zero. Okay, then CCF can be calculated by this one divided by denominator. Right, this one. So for leg one, at this at this value, next uh, x minus average of x times ah, sorry we need to change it e3 and e2 minus average of Okay, let's get uh, some of leg one for X. Apply this formula for this cell. Right. This one, next one, again. Uh, so the observation for x minus average of x variable and times first y variable, uh, y value minus average of 
Y value. For leg three, this one minus average of x variable times first value of y variable minus average of y variable. sum of leg 2 for x and sum of leg 3 if we apply this formula for this one then we can get same uh, cross correlation so actually uh, this uh, CCF uh, shows that the, this one third leg has highest correlation among them right then let's move on to calculate minus one leg and minus two leg and minus three uh, rack. So for leg one, y variable uh, value minus average of y variable times first value of x variable minus average of x variable okay and for leg 2 for y average of y variable times x1 minus average of x variable for leg 3 uh, for y average of y variable times first value of x variable minus average of X variable okay then we can apply formula oops sorry and then let's get some of leg one for y and some of leg two for y sum of leg 3 for y right then we can uh, use numerate over denominator cool right as you can see uh, we were able to uh, calculate cross correlation for a positive leg and a negative leg so among all these uh, cross correlation then uh, this one uh, shows highest uh, cross correlation between x and y i hope it was useful to understand how to calculate cross correlation uh, in x and r please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you thank you